Hello, in this video I'm going to be reviewing the CO Bigelow Shaving Cream. So let's go ahead and get started. So first off, I have a synthetic shave brush and I'm just going to load in about an almond sized amount into the bristles here. So I'm just going to simply get about an almond sized amount, squeeze that right into there, and then go ahead and apply just a little bit of warm water to the brush bristles. So right before I actually apply the shave cream, I'm just gonna warm my face here, put on some warm water, and, and then start uh, lathering it in. So with the shave cream, you can actually do a hand lather, um, which I did prior to this video, and it's a pretty nice slick lather. Um, but I think a lot of guys that are probably buying the shave cream are probably going to use it with the shave brush, but I could be wrong there. So, as you can see, the lather could probably use a little bit more water, so let's go ahead and add just a little water more to the brush here. That was a little too much. So right away, with the shave cream is I'm noticing the scent. If you've ever used Parasso, the green label one, this is virtually identical to it as far as the smell. It's a uh, eucalyptus oil, it's really invigorating. And you can actually feel the menthol, if you will. Like kind of like a bright feeling on your face. Now, one of the things that I did right before this review is um, I actually looked at the ingredient label of this because this is considered a Parasso clone um, because it's made by Parasso, so it makes sense that that's the uh, reason why a lot of guys like that, or that, uh, that it's referred to like that. But there, there is actually a little bit of a difference on the ingredients. So, just as a heads up, but if, I didn't know that this wasn't made by another company. I would have thought for sure that this was a Parasso shave cream. So just as a heads up, if you're coming from that background. So right away, as far as the feeling, um, I mean, there's nice lubrication there. It feels pretty good. Kind of akin to the Taylor of Old Bond Street I just reviewed. I really, uh, which you can check out that video uh, I'll link to it in the description if you want to check it out. But as far as with this shave cream, the menthol is really, really invigorating. It feels pretty good on the face there. I'm not feeling any sort of irritation whatsoever. And as far as with the razor blade gliding, feels pretty good. So let's go ahead and rinse off, see how things are feeling here, and um, kind of give it another quick lather, and then uh, wrap everything up. All right, so the first pass looked pretty good. Uh, just kind of give you guys a little bit better of a view, make sure you're in focus. Um, no, I always <laughs> have some sort of irritation right there, uh, but as far as anywhere else on my face, I don't see any sort of redness. Um, I mean, it feels feels really good. As far as the actual feeling right now, it feels like uh, really uh, cold, perhaps. And you know, it's the menthol working on it. It's, it feels like it's a, a very cold, almost type of feeling, um, a really bright feeling. Uh, but it smells really good. 
um, and it feels really good. It doesn't feel irritable at all. It's kind of a, like a nice way if it's 7 a.m. and you're shaving. It's a pretty good feeling. So uh, with that being said, let me just go ahead and re-wet the face here and then do the second pass. All right, so the second pass is I'm still using the same loaded shave brush as the first pass. Just give you an idea that you don't need much of the shave cream and you can get quite a lot of shaves out of it, of just a single loaded brush. Well, it feels like you want to eat this shave cream. <laughs> it's uh, definitely don't want to eat soap in the morning here. So again, really feels really great on the passes here. Really smooth. And just as a heads up for you guys, is that I'm using a Mercure 38C, also known as the Barber Pole, which is been recently reviewed here on the channel if you want to check it out. And for the razor blades, I'm using uh, feather razor blades. Ooh, I might have got myself. I was getting too greedy there. Again, I think I just screwed up there a couple times. We'll find out. That is why you take it slow and you don't go too quick there because you end up cutting yourself. All right. So that's the second pass. I, the shave creams, well, my technique wasn't too well to be quite <laughs> completely honest there. I completely nicked myself on that second pass. That was just me getting too crazy with the razor, trying to make too many passes, getting, quite honestly, I think just a little lazy with the technique there. Is it indicate, it, did it indicate the quality of the shave cream? No, that was pure me. I knew it as soon as I started to go too far there that that is going to be a problem. Um, but as far as the feeling on the cheeks and on the neck, um, everything felt pretty good uh, with the shave cream for that. So let's go ahead and wrap kind of everything up. So generally, despite the enormous cut that I have right here on my neck, the shaving cream was good. That was not a indication of the actual shave cream at all. Everywhere else on my face uh, feels really good, um, but I just unfortunately got a little too aggressive there. Um, the shave cream feels really bright, really uh, cool on my face. It's a, a really invigorating feeling. Um, as far as the value for the shave cream, it's pretty good. It's 10 bucks for just this uh, 5.2 ounce tube. Um, as we saw, a little goes a long way on this shaving cream. You could use this um, probably, if I was to guess, for a couple of months before it needs to get refilled. Depends on how often you shave, really. I mean, if you're a daily shaver, maybe a little quicker restocking time, but if you shave only once every few days, obviously it has a much longer uh, life in your medicine cabinet there. Um, so that's it. If you guys want to uh, learn more details about this shaving cream, I actually wrote a whole article on the Tools of Men website uh, that's worth checking out there. I kind of go a little bit deeper into the reviews, especially regarding the details on the packaging, 
uh, where you can actually buy the shaving cream and so on. So be sure to check that out. There is a link to it in the description. So with that, I just want to thank you guys for spending part of your day with me here and uh, checking out the review of CO Bigelow Shaving Cream. I hope you guys found it uh, helpful, valuable, and if you did, be sure to hit the thumbs up button just to at least let me know that uh, things were pretty good. And of course, if you have any questions on what I did not cover within this review, uh, definitely drop a line in the comment section below and I'll be happy to try to answer your question. So with that, please, you know, hit the subscribe button if you want to get notified when new videos come out. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.